Make sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. They sell cheap and trustworthy coins on all platforms. And using my code at checkout, MMG will get you 10% off. Guys, welcome back. Uh, today, another video, face camless and still sick. But either way, guys, this is so sick. Uh, we kind of got a little bit of an underground update today. Uh, I've been giving EA actually a lot of shit recently. Um, I I've been upset about some stuff like pack odds and like legends aren't in packs Monday through Friday. I think that's I think that's a, a super weird thing. But uh, this is this is actually super sick. I'm really excited about what they did. So they actually didn't explain anything that what they did for Mad Mobile and that's honestly why I want to make a video about it because it was so under the table it was just in the middle of the day yesterday but some of you might have noticed this some may not might not have but when you go into your search tab there's actually a new feature called the program filter and this is something we've been asking for for a super long time so I'm really really excited to see it so if you click on the program filter you can now filter players by their program which is so sick for finger snipers and this is gonna help people make coins like it this is this is so awesome so like for example game changer this one Will only show you game changers players if you want to change that over to elite game changers players if you are a finger sniper this is like heaven for you because all these players pretty much go for 100k plus if I saw anything in here sitting for around 80k and lower and honestly just since this program filter has come into play these prices have gone up just because it's so much easier for people to find them now because honestly a lot of times people don't even know who the game changers players are they don't know who you know journeyman honest to god i don't even know who the elite journeyman players are or the elite um veteran players are so i'm gonna check out some of the journeyman and oh it looks like you can only do one program at a time which is pretty interesting because it would actually be really cool if you could do multiple but just just journeyman like i haven't <laughs> i've literally never seen any of these cards we got a josh brown here jordan norwood zane beatles that is pretty sick 92 impact block <coughs> and i apologize guys i know i don't sound the greatest but gotta grind it out uh, i'm starting to do better i'm feeling a little bit better but ooh 88 Dwight Lowry, that is sick, dude. So I'm super excited about this update. Another cool thing is under player name, when you search up here, you can actually plug in numbers now. So for example, if you wanted to see 2015 season cards, like Reggie Nelson, 2015 season, if you wanted to see something, honestly, I don't even know, like what would five give you? Would that, that would give you 25 season. Oh, we got Ray Nitschke in here, Kevin Green. Like, think about the potential for filters that you guys can make for making coins. I don't want to just hand you filters because that would kind of ruin it. And then if, uh, if people people had those filters they'd be like fuck you mmg you just gave away my filter or like it, it just does it's not it's easy if you guys make the filters on your own then it works for you so just think about all the potential you guys have for making coins now i think that's sick uh especially with like how bundles don't make you any coins this year like they, they usually don't anyway like it's such a rip off to buy through ea but but just Especially this year with how low the pack odds are so I think this is actually really really good for people who don't spend money on the game Or don't want to buy through EA because you can finger snipe super well with some of these filters And like I said, I don't want to totally give it away uh, There's a few other little updates that went underground like things such as in live events when you see like your progress in live events And uh, I believe there were some other things like UE changes and that just means like kind of how the game looks in the interface Like I can, I can tell the fonts have been changed around a little bit um, but other than that that's it for Madden Mobile, but NBA Live Mobile got the fattest update I've ever seen. And I'm going to skip on over to NBA Live Mobile right now so I can show you guys that. This is sick. And now, it is kind of cool, but at the same time, you know, NBA Live Mobile is pretty dead. Uh, but that kind of makes sense because it's not basketball season right now. So I think in the middle of basketball season, when NBA Live Mobile picks up and it's got this sick-ass update in now, I think it's going to be hype, dude. I think it's everyone's going to really start playing it, but it's really hard to predict something like that. So we shall see. Either way, as you can see, it's decked out in all red stuff now, which is honestly dope. Uh, they just put in the rookie the rookie program, like promo, whatever, which actually gives you a whole new team on your franchise. So you guys know how there's like those five lineups. Well, now you have a sixth, which is your rookie lineup. Um, I've been playing with this. I've been opening. I opened all the rookie packs that you could open. I have like so many coins because of that stupid inflation. If you guys watched my Shaq video, I talked about inflation in uh, NBA Live Mobile a lot. So I had so many coins on this game. So um, I was able to get my rookie team pretty sick. Um, the sets are ridiculous, and they're doing this thing called um, dr like draft, like lottery balls, basically. Um, <laughs> you basically just collect a shit ton of balls. Uh, that's actually what you're doing, though. So once you get like 500 of these balls, you get them from like live events or playing season games, from pretty much doing everything. You you like unlock stuff 
as you do that, it's it's actually a really, really cool idea, and I think they can implement stuff like this into Mad Mobile. But uh, I'll show you guys the sets real quick. So the master is Ben Simmons. This is I've, this is something EA does for all their games. Just like trade in a bunch of players, and you get one really good player. I think they could be a little more creative, but that's fine. Um, and then and then your basic other EA sets, just like trade in little crappy stuff for bigger stuff. Trade in the bigger stuff for even bigger stuff, and eventually you'll get closer and closer to the top tier. But Still, this guy is going to be very, very difficult to get uh, if you're not already super experienced in this game or you don't have a lot of coins. So it'll be exciting to see how easily you can get this guy. I know that that Brandon Ingram right there literally costs like, I think the cheapest right now on the market is $2 million, And I couldn't even buy that right now. So, And that's just like one-fifth of this whole set. Either way, though, super exciting. The game looks sick. And you could throw alley-oops. Oh, my God. This whole time I talked, I didn't even talk about alley-oops. You can chuck oops now in season mode. That is so sick. I have definitely been doing that. And uh, the achievements were updated like right here you get daily and weekly objectives which give you rewards and they give you those little lottery balls that go towards your uh, Ben Simmons so really exciting stuff on this it obviously looks sicker there's a lot of improvements you can alley-oop the game plays better the graphics are better and that's what they need to do the mad mobile dude they need to improve the freaking graphics dude like NBA live mobile is running like 2010 like ps3 graphics like that's good as hell and mad Mobile's still stuck on goddamn 1980s Sony freaking what's that thing called the Atari the little thing with the joystick where you run around with that little Whatever, you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. But the graphics suck dick. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying when I say that. So I think if if we got the, the same treatment that NBA Live Mobile is getting, I think we'd be on the right track. But um say so that's about it for now, guys. Just really uh, an update overview because I'm still kinda sick. But uh hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something at least. Thanks for watching and uh take